Hi there everyone, it's Alex and welcome back to a new Drummer Artista for Studios. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a few updates before I get into this video. As everyone knows now, it is the uh, height of this COVID-19 crisis that the planet is facing and I, like most other people, am now finding myself with a lot more time stuck at home. So that is going to mean I should be able to get a few more videos out more regularly for you guys to be able to see. Uh, I have not been putting out any videos recently, in a large part due to the fact that back in January I actually started as a part-time faculty member at Wayne State University teaching an intro to jewelry and metalsmithing course. So that ate up a lot of my free time and made it so that I wasn't able to find time to sit down and put together content for the channel. Well, in the light of Wayne State shutting down and moving all the classes online, I figured what better opportunity to make more material for this channel than having to make stuff to teach online. So the regular viewers of this channel are now being joined by the 13 to 15 students that I have for my Intro to Jewelry and Metalsmithing course. So the next several videos that I make are actually going to be geared more towards them, but I'm going to do this project for them in such a way so that everybody can join in if they want. So if you're interested in uh, joining a bunch of art students in a journey on making a project, feel free to listen along and we'll see where this goes. So the third assignment for the jewelry and metalsmithing class is going to be to build a reliquary. For those of you that do not know what a reliquary is, it is commonly defined as a container for relics. Uh, these may be the physical remains of saints, such as bones, pieces of clothing, or some object associated with saints or other religious figures. If you just did like a Google image search for reliquary, most examples you're going to end up finding are going to be elaborately decorated golden objects of one form or another that contain a little clipping of hair or a section of a finger bone or a tooth or something like that. And they are most commonly made and created by the Christian churches to contain some part of a saint. And a lot of times they're supposed to be associated with healing powers or good luck and stuff like that. Um, that isn't necessarily the only thing reliquaries are going to be for. If you know what a curio cabinet is, um, they were very popular in Victorian and Edwardian eras, so right around the turn of the, the 19th century into the 20th century, that they were cabinets used to contain and display interesting items that people might have used uh, to start conversations when they had dinner parties and stuff, or items that they found on travels to the Far East and stuff like that. Uh, there's also forms of reliquaries that were memory vessels. If a loved one passed away, they might make a memorial item in Victorian time period that might have been a little, think of like a, a brooch that was a, also a locket that would contain a lock of their hair in it. And it was a way for you to always have a part of that loved one with you even after they've left this world. So it, it basically boils down to it being a physical object built to contain something that has a special meaning to it. So there are numerous examples of how to do it. Like I said, image searches, all sorts of stuff. Artists have been making reliquaries for all sorts of stuff for years. Um, down below in the description, I'm going to have a link to the actual Google Slides presentation I put together for this assignment. and has all sorts of examples, both of the saintly variety and of some very interesting ones. Somebody made a reliquary that was actually a ring that contains a Heinz pickle pin that probably had some childhood memory associated with it. Uh, the slideshow also contains images of some of the student work from the last time I helped teach this course when I gave the same assignment. Now, some of you might be wondering how you're supposed to build this, being that the students don't have access to anything on campus anymore. You can't come into the metal studio and use the equipment there. 
So what are you going to do? I am changing this project around to be exactly the same way it was when I actually did it as an undergraduate student at uh, Northern Michigan University. This project was assigned and we had to pick an item that had special meaning to us and build a reliquary for it. But we built it out of whatever we could find. So use cardboard, old soap dispensers, garbage, upcycled stuff, anything you can think of to build this vessel, use it. Any techniques you can think of to, to do it, use them. This isn't, it, it's more to test the bounds of your imagination to see what you can come up with for doing this project. Um, so you have to select an item that has some form of special meaning to you. You have to design a vessel to contain and display that item. You can't just seal it into a box and then you can't see it. You actually have to be able to open it up to show people what is inside the box. And your design must have at least one upcycled element, meaning you have something that is an older object that you are now reusing to build it. So once you're done with the project, you're going to need to write out a description of what your item was that had special meaning and why you made the choices you did in making your design for the reliquary. We're going to have you write those out and submit them to me in email instead of us having a group critique. Um, so both the photographs and your description will need to get mailed to me. Students, you can just send them to my regular Wayne State email. If anybody else out there is actually going to follow along with this project, feel free to email them to drumartisiferstudios at gmail.com. Uh, it's the email that's linked to the YouTube page. Once I have everything in, I will actually do a final video that will have a slideshow with everybody's pieces in it so that everybody can see what other people have made to go along with this. And you guys have until April 15th to get this completed and have everything emailed into me. That would be the equivalent of the last regular day of classes for the students. So you guys have roughly about a month to be able to sit down, design, and build this. I'm going to do a series of videos following this that will be simple construction methods with things like cardboard and foam core and EVA foam, paper mache, so that if you guys have never really done much with those materials, I'll try to give you some tips on how you can build shapes and construct elaborate objects out of them. So hopefully, this is something everybody out there can use as a distraction from everything that's going on and give you something to do. And hopefully the students have a interesting time trying to figure out how to reuse some junk items. As always, I'm Alex, and this has been Drum Artisifer Studios. Stay safe, stay healthy, see you later.